the road to Olympics, bro. This is where it all ends. Don't worry about the speed, just keep it tagging. <laughs> Tune in for the first ever Daniel Roberts Dan show. It's the only chance you get to do it. So what are you gonna do? I don't know if you know, we have six children. He's the um, fifth, fifth out of the six. Um, he's just always been a driven, focused person. He just, if he says he's gonna do something, it's, it's done. Final of the men's 110 hurdles. The opposition now what an explosive start. Daniel Roberts trying just three spots for Paris. And Daniel Roberts, who continues his streak like Grant Holloway, he has never missed a team. All three of them under 13, two of them with personal bests. Daniel, that was some dash to the finish, right? You've been making teams since 2019. Otto talked about it. What does it mean to do it again now in the pressure pack moment? I mean, it's the Olympics, man. It means the world. To be, to be able to come back here and do it a second time, not everybody can say that. And it's an honor to be here with my boys. That's the first time in history that any race has had three sub-13 hurdlers. They are ready for Paris. Like, imagine all the positive things you can imagine about your career going exactly how you want it to go at the perfect time, and you could see it in the future. Um, but you just had to wait for it to happen. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, because he's had so many adversities, you know, so many things that people wrote off and said he wouldn't be able to do it. And we just believe that, you know, if, if that's in his heart and that's what he wanted, God was going to make it happen. I just really want him to, to be able to reach his, his dream to go. I know what he can do. If he execute and do what he's supposed to do, it's, it's, it's no doubt what's going to happen. There's always room to grow in this sport, and I think that Daniel's always searching for it. Like, a gold medal is going to come if God wants it to be. Like, it's already written, and whatever happens, happens. I mean, honestly, I, I usually would be, I feel like, more nervous, but it's more just exciting right now. It's more just good expectations, because um, I know I'm prepared as far as all the things to come, not just on the track, but off the track as well. I know that we've prepared for all these things. Okay, look, these are the Nike shades they gave all the Nike athletes going to the Olympics. And it's supposed to be like, the reason it's shaped like this is so that, like from the outside, they can't really see like your facial expressions because like it's- Oh, if you hit this number, know, they can't tell. Cause it's like, the form, so okay. like visually, if someone's looking at it, they can't really tell like what your fate, like what your emotions are. It's supposed to be like that, so you can kind of just like blow it out. Oh, that's cool. cool. You focus cool. on the shape of the shades. Yeah. 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 You can't really see their eyes. Okay. Yeah. That's what I said. If I raise the eyebrow, you can't tell. Yeah. Um, and I don't think they. I don't think they said they even gonna like sell these. I think it's just for. Just for the athletes. Okay. So that's pretty cool. I actually like these a lot. Orange is still a good color. Yeah. Those are like the ones that was his name wears. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I could not imagine running. You can get a strap. But they probably. Yeah, they're taking everything. What? <laughs> is this real? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, y'all flow. I can bust it out like Coach Johnson. You know, Coach Johnson in '96 when he won his Olympic gold, he was in chase at night. <laughs> like, was it really? Yes. 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 It was nighttime, but I haven't had shades. I love that for him. <laughs> I love that he's got trash. Yes, sir. That's why I've been rocking this year. 
that's a new addition to my, my repertoire. I usually do the, the one leg tights or the long tights with the distance top, but I switched it up this year. But the one leg tights, it will make a comeback. It will make a comeback indeed. Bring so much stuff. I ain't gonna lose it. Oh no, I'm false on this stuff. <laughs> So how much gear do you get? This is all just like straight competition gear. So we're not gonna wear any of this stuff until like the day we compete. Um, all the stuff that we get out there, it's just, like stuff to wear on the village, practicing, stuff to wear during media obligations and opening and closing ceremonies. And some of it is just gifts from the different sponsors. So. It's a lot of gear. <laughs> it's like a whole lot of gear. It's the OGs, bro. I'm talking about it. I'm talking about it. Oh, man, bro. I made it myself. <laughs> Probably gonna bust these out in the first round. Hey, if it go good. I might wear them back in the final too. Maybe even travel, I don't know. That's probably what I'm going to travel in on the fly over there, just something comfy. You will see. So you don't have to paint it to match with that bad boy. Yeah, not crazy, not crazy. You ready? For real? Ready for what we're talking about? Your next meet. They got a oh they got this meet. We just gonna call it the Paris meet. <laughs> the Paris meet. <laughs> Paris Diamond League. Not in Diamond League. <laughs> this is Not uh League, but it's in Paris though. This is World League. This will be my last like full on like practice before I leave on Wednesday. So yeah, I'll make it a good one. Um I've been having some like pain. Not really pain, more like discomfort in my lower leg Achilles area. So just kind of moving through that, seeing how that feels today with the hurdles. A lot of it's just mental, like I'm thinking about it. So I'm like putting more pressure on it or running weird, but just trying to stay, stay consistent, stay square, stay even. When you're in college, you look at the pros and you're like, oh my gosh, it's so exciting. Um, I didn't really get to know him until this year when we were in this part of the same training group. And my first impression is, um, he brings like the vibes. He always has like the the music going at practice and just dancing. Hey, hit the music going, that man go bust a move. <laughs> like every every time, the, the you you hear music, look over at D Rock. You probably dancing, <laughs> doing something like. Go hit that, Coach Johnson. I still, I ain't practicing yet, bro. Hit that, Coach Johnson. Dang, I forgot. You gotta like hit that jump like that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Marcus, what you doing? <laughs> you gotta move the arms with it, Ray. You can't freeze the arms. You think about the legs too much and you're freezing the arms. You like this. You gotta let, let that thing. <laughs> yeah, if you can do that, then you can then you can hurt all it is is having the brain tell the body what to do and the body does it. Which is what everything is. I'm hit that thumbnail, bro, on TV. Tune in, bro. Tune in for the first ever Daniel Roberts Dan show. Daniel Roberts Dan show. I'm gonna hit that, I'm gonna make sure I find a camera too. I'm gonna find that fool. I'm gonna play baby. So 
So when it gets to these meets, it's more, you wanna turn up the intensity to like almost get your body ready to go that fast and that hard, but you wanna do it less. And obviously allowing recovery time. Like these past two and a half weeks, I've been having like two hard days of practice a week, pretty much. You have to make sure that you get the left elbow back. It's got. It's got to be there. So that, see if you hear the. If you just. Yeah, exactly. If you just hear the end of that. You're like, dang, that's cold blooded. That's so crazy. <laughs> Last time I saw your girlfriend, she was huge. <laughs> nah, that sounded so bad, bro. It sounded horrible. <laughs> like we just came in on the end of it. If you don't know the situation, yeah. that's crazy. See, that's how rumors get started. No, for real. <laughs> yeah, man, I was at practice and I heard uh, yeah, we said. Daniel's wife talking bad about <laughs> to his face. <laughs> <laughs> to his face. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> I want to do a couple of with them down and move down. Three steps. I want to go over the side where you just do just real quick the drill where you just come over and take off and you just land right there and pause with it. Yes. You feel that? Yeah. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Let's make it a little more methodical through the air to get that. What do you mean? Take your time to complete the motion. So you know, go. You saying do that same drill? You saying? Yep. Oh, oh the, the, the regular, regular running. Though. Do that drill over the top with the regular three steps. Really interesting. Felt a little weird, but sometimes that's a good thing. That means I'm doing something differently than I used to do. Making changes. So we'll see when he look at the film, if that's a good change or a bad change. Is, is, that, is that left arm comes back, the right one's gotta come forward. But that's still better. You see what I'm saying though? Yeah. It's still, it's still better. Yeah. Still better, 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 better. Just doing some pushes, running just to get loose. Get ready for these hurdles. But yeah, we finna get going now, bro. It's time for the actual workout. For me, with the hurdles, we time just the, diff the distance from the first hurdle to the last hurdle. But it's more about just seeing it and, compare it and comparing it to like different reps so that you can know when you're getting faster, what you did differently, and why that one's faster, why this one was slower, that type of thing. Um, but all it's about is just not slowing down. Like, you got the 10 hurdles there. The purpose of the race is to get from point A to point B as fast as possible. So whatever you have to do to get there without slowing down, that is what's gonna make you fast in hurdles. Look, Daniel, remember, as you go over, as soon as you leave the ground, you're gonna extend and then this, everything has to come here. You can't, this, this has to come for, all in one motion. Boom, boom. And, and you're staying, yes, staying forward with it. No, that, no, you gotta practice this elbow coming all the way, even when you do it still, it's, it's here, here, all the way here, here. We're doing 10 hurdles, 42 inches. It's more about the technique. I mean, I'll start picking up speed because they're closer together, 
just keeping the technique, keeping the angles, even when the hurdles start to come faster and faster. And just working on that all the way through all 10 hurdles. Keep working, don't get, don't get lazy, don't get, don't get late with the arms. You're not, you're not lazy anywhere. You start getting late. Yeah. What well, don't look like? It's not bad. I mean, it didn't feel great to be honest, but I mean, it's just the first, first one. Fall. Yeah. I feel like I was still kind of trying to get loose. What was that one overall? Nine, 30, two? No, 30 something. Nine, 30 something? 38, so almost nine, 40. Naturally, when you do the right techniques and you're hitting the right angles, the speed is just gonna happen instead of like forcing it like I was a lot in my early career. Cause I was just fast, so I was just running. And I mean, it worked a little bit until you come to those high pressure situations and there's people all around you. You start hitting more hurdles, gotta execute. You just keep going, minimize deceleration. Just keep going all the way through that finish line, bro. All the way through. He's been very athletic and now he's, it really hasn't changed a lot because he's always been a student of whatever sport he's doing. He's just always been that. He's still that today. He studies this craft and he knows, watches film and we used to watch after track meets. Did you record that? Did you record it? Yeah, we got it. He wanted, the first thing he wanted to look at it. And you know, he's already studying how he can get better. The person he is, you know what I'm saying? You don't get that in a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Just the humility he has. I feel like he's able to bring the best out in other people, the people around him. That's just who he is. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like just being that type of person, that's like gold, gold standard. You know what I'm saying? This is the pressure right here. This one you gotta go under. You say what? This one you have to go under. What do you mean? Under nine seconds. Oh, under nine? You have to. It's the only chance you get to do it. So what are you gonna do? There's no getting to do another one like that after this. This is it. You gotta attack, attack. It's intriguing to see because it's like once you know, it's like, I don't, it's like a switch almost. Once he gets there, he gets, like, he gets going, he gets hot. It's like, it's, you can't turn it off. How'd you do that? How'd you do that? You just came out of me, bro. Huh? <laughs> so you just brought it out of me, bro. On that one, I was just like, just keep throwing the shoulders through no matter what. Don't like break or don't worry about the speed. Just keep attacking. Yes. Cause that puts you in the right position. The position allows you, positions allow you to go fast. So let's just do one more. Let's really just focus on positions. Positions. The first one we ran today was 9-3, then 9-1. 9-0-1. and then that one was 8-92. So, just a little pressure, bro. Sometimes it bring out the best in you, bro. You gotta literally, literally, attack and fall to the next hurdle and just keep see how everything is staying yeah that position in between yeah. do not bring it back go to here it, everything happens here but yeah i feel like at the back end i still gotta remember the last few to keep throwing the torch through even though it's feeling fast because yeah. it because it, it'll even 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 if you're here at eight at nine Keep doing it. Cause it's gonna still put you in a position off of eight, off of nine. And off 10. Off of 10 to the finish. And just run through that, y'all. You gotta dive across the line. Don't come off of 10 and do this. Come, I'm be gone. You, when I'm you come off, when you come I'm, off I'm of 10. I'm gonna be gone at 10, but I'm telling when you. When you come off of 10, you. <laughs> and if you got, if you got a. <laughs> Across the line. I'm dead serious. I am too. I know. If, if I got to, I definitely will. I feel like off the 10, that's 
one of my strong suits is my race. Yeah. Just coming off that thing. Especially when I'm in good position, it makes it so much easier. So I just yeah. come off. Yeah. Just go through that jump. <sighs> one more. Yeah. I like how you're coming off. See the left arm is sweeping down and not out and around. It's still better though. It's still better. And that's the end of four. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you can do one. That's the move. That's the move. Well, I'm solid. Huh? So I'm solid. Yeah. It's, it's better than three, four weeks ago. Yeah. It's sharper. So. That's good for the day. How you feel? Feel good. Good. That's good for the day. Yeah. Honestly, man, like I said before, I feel like if I go out to execute, I focus, I mean, that's the main thing. Like, yeah. Execute and focus on the two hurdles, no matter what everybody else do. Yeah, I'm gonna win. Yes. Based, yes. Off, based off of the statistics and what I've seen in myself so far. We'll be ready. Yeah. We'll be good. We're gonna go get that gold medal. Go on a little, go on a little uh, tour. Yes, no right. practice. That's right. No practice, just run some races, pick up some change. <laughs> Coach Johnson said say when he did that, he, he used to not practice at all. Like after he go to the meets, he would just run. And then like the next day, he'd just be chilling and vibing. And then go to the next meet. He might do like a little pre-meet shakeout or something. And then just run the race. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's going to be me, boy. At that point, it's just muscle memory. It's sure not is. for real. At that point. You're already, you're already sharp. I mean, you already you did what you, Even if you do lose a little something, like you already you did what you need to do. Don't make care no, that much. You, only thing you lose is the ability to run rounds. rounds. Yeah. <laughs> One you shot, can do one, yeah. <laughs> one shot deal. I wasn't saying this earlier, but it also has like split up the first three, the middle three, and the last three. And that last one was the most consistent. So that was the goal, just executing, holding it, holding those positions and keeping it even all the way through. So you win championships with execution, execution and focus. And we did that on the last one. So it was good. I'm feeling great going to this thing, but as long as I'm healthy, able to get on that track and run, it's going to be, it's going to be a great experience. Out there at the Olympics. I mean, it's the Olympics anyways, bro. It's the Olympics, like. It's the Olympics, bro. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's the Olympics, like. I'm literally gonna be in the Olympics, so it's like. I'm just excited, bro. Excited to go out there, have a good time, run with my boys, represent USA, bring back a medal, make some money while I'm doing it. So. The last hard practice for the Olympics. I've been trying to really like take it day by day because I've been so excited to get over there, so ready to get over there. Um, so coming into this week, I was just really wanting to make sure I put a lot of emphasis on one day at a time, one rep, focus on the hurdles, focus on what I'm doing right now, not thinking ahead. Um, and it went good today. Practice was really well. Execution was good. Felt a whole lot better than I felt past weeks um, physically. So yeah, man, we're, we're locked and loaded, ready to go. The road to Olympics, bro. This is where it all ends. So I'm excited. I leave on the 24th. I'll get there 25th. The opening ceremony is the 26th, but I don't run my first round until the 4th, August 4th. And then the semis is August 7th and the final is August 8th. Hey, this is time, bro. This is what the buildup has been for from the first, the first day of practice, the very first video we made. Like, this has been the goal coming to the Olympics and getting that gold medal. So now it's just time to make it happen. Like, we're more than ready super fit um thank you to everybody who's followed along on the journey if you just hopping in definitely subscribe comment let me know what y'all want to see like i said going into next year i'm 100 percent trying to put out more content just more specific to what you guys actually want to see what i want to put out um kind of just telling my own story like we did this year a little bit but building upon that and going into even more things, whatever it is you guys want. I appreciate you guys, so subscribe, 
like, comment, all them things. I appreciate y'all for real. If you could tell Daniel one thing before the race, what would it be? Yeah. Leave it all on the track. Yep, leave it all on the track. And, and um, like we said, regardless of the outcome, we're gonna come back home, we still gonna celebrate. It's not, I mean, not everybody can say that they were an Olympian, you know, that they've made it this far, that they've, um, you know, that they've really accomplished what he's accomplished. I would say to him about whatever it is, just give it to God. Just give it to God and, and just let him do your thing. Audience of one, meaning that there could be thousands, millions of people watching you, but the only person that matters is the Lord watching. Like he's the who you're running for. He's the the audience. Hey, don't do you. Don't change nothing. Go out, do you do your thing. That's Literally, don't you know what I'm change saying? anything. Go out, do your thing. Do what you always been doing. God got it in the end. You worked this hard. Now it's up to you and him. What would you tell yourself? <laughs> I mean, I would tell myself that I'm a winner, that I'm made for moments like this, that it's in you, you just gotta let it out.